hey uh, welcome back to another video in this video i'm just gonna be updating the vehicle performance just to clean things up a bit make it look a little bit neater it's gonna be entirely new code so it's not gonna be the same as the old one but it does make the whole code look a lot neater so with that let's get into this uh, so before we get started side note a viewer brought it to my attention that there's an error that appears when you close the editor with the progress line that we added in a previous video so before we get started in this video i'm just going to show how to get this fixed so you don't get that error anymore so what you want to do is open up your progress line and your sports car blueprint and then in the sports car blueprint go over to the race progress function created and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy the entirety of the code Control c and then head over to progress line blueprint and then in here we are going to create a new function and then call this one race progress pretty much the same as it was in the sports car and then we're going to paste the code here and then we're just going to delete the progress line variable as well as the target spline and then in the event graph by the event begin play we are going to look for the sports car so we're going to right click and look for get player get player pawn and then from the return value we're going to drag off and cost to sports car pawn and then you connect the execution pin and then from the s sports car drag off and promote variable and that's pretty much it so then we're going to go back to the function we created and then from the node we're going to connect the exit oh no before we do that we actually need to replace the variable at the end so drag in the variable created for the s sports car pawn and then say set race percent connect from the round return value to the race percent and then connect the execution pin to the function and then we're going to drag in the spline component get and then connect this to the find input key close to the wall position and then it's connected to the redirect node as well and then we're going to drag in the air sports car pawn or control drag it in and then drop it over the get active location target pin we connect it and then we're going to compile and save and then in the event graph we're going to drag the function in and then connect it to the event tick and then compile and save again and then just see if this works Okay, the code functions so we have fixed that problem so on to what we are doing in today's video you can close the progress line blueprint save all and then you can pretty much delete this function as well so we're just gonna delete that function say yes and then by the event tick delete it as well so for today's video since we're going to be upgrading the code for the upgrade, we're not really going to do anything, we're just going to change it. We're going to create two new functions. One is going to be engine upgrade. And the other one is brake upgrade. So we're going to start with the engine upgrade first. It's a little bit easier. What we're going to do is from the components tab in the variables, we're going to drag in the chaos wheeled vehicle movement component hold control drag it in and then from here we're going to look for set max engine torque and we're going to duplicate this three times so by default the sports cars max torque is 750 so we're going to upgrade that three times so it's probably it's going to end up at 8850 900 900 newton meters so from here from the upgrade i'm gonna drag off look for a branch node and then pretty much like we did with the previous upgrade system we're going to move downwards from 
performance we're going to add e stage one at the bottom e stage two in the middle and then e stage three at the top and then connect each each one of the true to the set max engine torque and then connect each following branch node to the false and then connect the chaos wheeled vehicle movement component to each one of the set max engine torque So then from here, we're going to go and say, okay, stage three is supposed to be 900, stage two is supposed to be 850, and then stage one upgrade is going to put the car's max talk at 800. So with that, I'm going to compile, save, go to the event graph. We can also remove this get actor class progress blind variable we created, with that, and then drag in the function, the get engine upgrade and then connect that. So the reason we're connecting it to the event begin play is so that when you do the upgrade in the garage, before any event starts, it, it contains the player's controlled vehicle. It will then go through the event begin play code and then once it gets to the engine upgrade, it's then going to check, okay, did the player install stage three, stage two or stage one? If not, then it's simply just going to go with the default value that the course talk is set at. So that's why we're doing it this way. So with that, that's pretty much complete. Now we need to move on to the break. So for the break, it's going to be similar, but also a little bit different. So with the break upgrade, we're also going to drag in the chaos wheel vehicle component. And then we're gonna look for the set max, set wheel max brake torque. So here we are gonna require to open up the vehicle, the wheel, the blueprints that get control the wheels for the rear and the front. And then at the bottom, we need to get the values for the rear, it's 150, for the front, it is 45. So then we're going to do the same, we're going to add a couple branch nodes, copy and paste this several times, and then we're going to connect the stages to it, B stage 3 at the top, B stage 2 in the middle, and then B stage 1 at the bottom. So the difference here between the brakes and the engine is that you need to have four of the set wheel max brake torque and because it has a wheel index and then you can only have one wheel being set per node so we need to copy and paste this four times or three times rather because we already added the first one and then just change the wheel index zero one two and three each one corresponding these will be the two front wheels and then these will be the two back wheels. So we said the front was 45. So if we add 250 to each wheel, that would be 47, 5, 50, 250. And then for the back, it would be 17 to 2250. Okay, so that is. So then this will be stage three. And then just connect all the execution pins together. And then from here, we can pretty much just drag over all of this. Control C, Control V, Control V again. And then just realign all of this. And then just connect all the execution pins. False branch, false branch. Okay, so then this needs to change to 5,000, 5,000, 2,000, and then, oh, sorry, 2,000. And then here, this would be 4,750, 4,750, 1,750, and then 1,750. Okay, so now with that, that is it for the code. And then this one also, we need to add it to 
the event begin play connect that and then connect that to the restart uh, yeah we can make this look nice afterwards not now so we're just gonna connect everything so we'll click on the link between the chaos wheel vehicle and the first set wheel max brake torque node and then add a redirect node and then drag off and if you press period you can add a redirect node again and then if you drag over all the redirect nodes and you press okay it should be shift s yes shift s align them all to the bottom and then can you copy this Control C, Control v. oh you can you can copy redirect nodes fine makes my life easier oh to move the redirect nodes around without using the mouse you can simply use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move anything that you have selected around like that okay so now with all of that done that is the code everything is connected everything is set up properly compile and save and that is it for this video that is everything we have to do oh no we need to remove all of this as well i guess we can just delete everything here we don't need any of it anymore We do the same for the brakes. Remove everything here. Okay, do that. Oh, do this. And then connect this to the trigger. The action value. So here, you can delete this one as well. And just. So, not all the nodes removed. There is it. The nodes connected at the top. Uh, side note, I just want to say that there's no need to be concerned with the code communication between the sports car and the widget since the two separate blueprints communicate via the boolean variables and since we never touched, deleted or changed the boolean variables, there's no need to be concerned with possibly breaking the upgrade communication between the two, so everything is fine. We're gonna compile and save, see if anything broke. Okay, everything's working fine. Actually, I'll check the brakes. Okay, everything's working fine. The code is working. So with that, that brings us to the end of today's video and until the next one.